iOS 11.1 is the next big update for your iPhone and iPad. Along with few new features, Apple has made sure it has fixed some of the bugs found in iOS 11. With iOS 11.1, Apple has brought back the 3D app switcher that you use to long press on the left edges and switch between apps. If you want to quickly switch back and forth between the last two apps, all you have to do is long press and swipe right and that's going to switch between those apps. Now you could also do this to bring up the app switcher. Just long press on the left edge until you hear the haptic feedback and that's going to give you the 3D app switcher. And of course double tapping the home button still brings you the 3D app switcher if you wish to use that. Apple has added a ton of emojis to the iOS 11 point update. Now these are all the emojis approved in the emoji 5 version. So you got at least 69 new emojis shipping with the iOS 11.1. Some notable ones are zombies, vampires, mermaids, fairies and some new animals as well. These are some of my favorite but if you actually want to look at the full list, if you go to Emojipedia, you will actually see the full list available in the Emoji 5 that's been shipping with the iOS 11.1. If you go into the emergency SOS settings and enable auto call, you will actually see an option to now play a countdown sound, which is basically the warning sound when the emergency SOS is counting down to call the emergency services. There are few reachability bugs fixed in iOS 11.1. The first thing is if you use reachability in your home screen, it no longer comes over the dock and they have fixed that in the recent 11.0.3 update as well as in the 11.1. And the next one they fix with reachability is you can access the notification panel without any issues once you use the reachability mode. Another subtle change that I like in iOS 11.1 with respect to reachability is that if you are in an app and you use the reachability, you can actually see the home screen faded in the background and that's pretty nice because now it's not just a wallpaper but it actually shows the icons that you have here in your home screen but it's pretty cool that's a really nice effect to give us in the reachability option. Another bug that is fixed in iOS 11.1 is that if you unlock your phone in the landscape mode, the home screen will automatically turn into landscape so you don't have to force it to switch to landscape mode, it automatically does that for you. And another thing to notice in iOS 11.1 is that the 3D touch is super fast. So it was a bit laggy in iOS 11 and that's been fixed with the iOS 11.1 as well. At the time of recording this video, the iOS 11.1 Beta 5 was released and that's basically considered to be the GM build, the gold master build for iOS 11.1 and since iPhone 10 is just around the corner, expect the iOS 11.1 release anytime and by the time you watch this video, you'll actually have the 11.1 update. If you do get the update, let me know how the update goes for you and any questions that you have with the iOS 11, leave a comment. If you like my videos, do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.